Hello, and thanks for logging on to Channel6NewsOnline.com. I'm Eric Andrew for the headlines. Today, Andrew Cuomo delivered his plan to reform New York during a State of the State address. In a bold move, he addressed New Yorkers at the Empire State Convention Center, moving from the normal location in the Capitol building. Channel 6 reporter Ryan Thompson was at the event Albany. He joins us now live. Ryan? Thanks, Eric. We headed to Albany, New York today to hear new Governor Andrew Cuomo's State of the State address where he promised a message of bipartisanship in working across the aisle. The State of the State begins with an honest analysis of the crisis that we face. In government as in life, you can never solve a problem if you refuse to acknowledge it. The economic recession has taken an especially hard hit on the state of New York. Assemblymen and state senators packed the Empire State Convention Center in Albany Wednesday to hear the new governor preach about cutting spending and creating jobs. The state of New York spends too much money. It is that blunt it is, and it is that simple. Our spending has far exceeded the rate of inflation. This is not a one-year problem, my friends. This is a fundamental economic realignment for the state of New York. The new governor simplified the current condition of the state by defining it as a crossroad for New York, a time of crisis when critical decisions must be made. This state is at a crossroads, and I believe there are two very different paths that this state may go down. Certain factors are pushing us down one path, the national economic pressure the costs of state government that we're currently expending, the dysfunction that the state government has been manifesting, and the fact that the people have lost trust in our government. The event drew the most influential leaders of New York's political scene, including former New York City Mayor Ed Koch. The governor was magnificent and laid out the problems and uh, uh, laid out uh, some of the uh, solutions and what uh, he needs is the support of uh, the citizenry as well as uh, the support of the state legislature. He's entitled to it and I think uh, as a result of this speech we'll receive it. And as you can see, Eric, it was a very informative speech. The new governor did not shy away from talking about any issue. He touched down on everything from limited government to education to spending to bipartisanship. He really, environmentalism, he put everything into this speech. And if you live in New York or pay taxes, everyone should see the speech. It was really informative, and it really just hit home uh, to what New Yorkers need to know. I'm going to send it back to you, Eric. Oh. Well, thanks, Ryan. It looks extremely cold outside the Capitol building. Stay warm. Today, today, excuse me, the new successors of congressional seat, which they won during the Republican landslide in the midterm elections, went to work. This means that Republicans will take the majority of the House starting today. The question becomes, how much of President Obama's ideas are going to be able to get passed? And will Obama face gridlock like Bill Clinton did during one of his terms as president? Uh, old rules that have made it easy to increase spending will be replaced by new reforms uh, that make it easier to cut spending. And we will start by cutting Congress's own budget. Well, the lotto was at an estimated $380 million and an amazing coincidence happened yesterday. For all you Lost fans, remember Hugo Reyes? You guys know him. Come on. This b the big guy with the curly hair? The character who won the $150 million lotto and his winning numbers haunted him forever? It's funny how his lotto winning ticket from the show had four out of the five winning numbers from last night's lotto drawings. Tuesday's Mega Million numbers were 4, 8, 15, 25, 47, and 42 was the Mega Ball. Heroes numbers were 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, and a Mega Ball 42 as well. Lost fans must have been shocked, but certainly not as shocked as the two winners who won the jackpot at $380 million last night. The two winners are congratulated for splitting it, and also the Lost fans who predicted the future. That does it for our Channel 6 News Now. You can also find us on Twitter and Facebook at twitter.com slash channel 6 news and facebook.com channel 6 news. And if you need all your stories, just come on over to channel 6 newsonlinecom and get the latest. I'm Eric Hanschiger. Enjoy your night.